Today I will show you how to make this gothic text. Yo, hello. It's Bobby Customer Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. All right, guys. So let's start off by making the text. I'm using the MB Forever Raw font from the website called The Font. It's a free font, so you can use it. I also am using 402 pixels, one here and the other settings right here. And now let's go to the T right here and draw something here, and we can type whatever we want uh, so I'm gonna type gothic for the sake of the video okay now let's hold control and double press on this pen behind anchor point tool now let's go to align and press on here and on here great we have positioned our text and we can press s and here we can uncheck constraint proportions and make this one to 83 this one to 180 and now we can go to the ending of our text so I don't know how long it will be for you I'm just gonna make it for the sake of the video to like I guess two seconds and I will press here to keyframe it and I will also check on this constraint proportions i'm gonna press ctrl shift d to delete the ending and let's go to the start and just make it as low as we can so like i'm just gonna type here like one percent and now let's select both of these keyframes press f9 and press on this button as well and now let's press on one of the keyframes go to the graph here's how we get this sort of like a cool stretch effect so all we have to do is basically just take this and drag it right here and take the red one here and drag it here both of these are gonna move and i like to drag this one somewhere here and this one over here the red one needs to be just like somewhat up like that something like this works absolutely great as you can see the red one will scale up faster green one scales up slower this will make for a really cool scale in i think that's a super dope way to scale a text and now what we can do is right click on the text press pre-compose and here we can call it to like normal and we can press ok and now let's right click on it again and press pre-compose and here we can call it to 720 x 480 and uh, go to move all attributes into new composition press ok and now now let's double press on this composition here in this composition let's go to composition composition settings and make the width to 720 and the height to 480 press ok press s and make the scale to 37.5 we made the resolution lower here and now we can actually start adding some cool effects so we can press ctrl y and here we can add signal this is a paid plugin but you should really have this plugin now let's go to loma modulation and turn off tape errors and also turn on and off and now let's add s flicker here let's make the amplitude to 0 0.35 and we already have a pretty cool effect here but let's keep going uh so let's go back to the main comp or whatever you have it called and here we need to press s and scale it up to like i think 267 now let's press on this and here we can add some effects so we can add post rise time if you want to i'm editing in 24 frames per second so i'm going to make this to 14 that's not exactly half but it's close to being half so if you edit in like 30 frames per second i would make this to like 17 i think and now let's add s flicker here we can make the amplitude to 0 0.3 and now let's add add grain and make the viewing mode to final output and the uh, preset to codec sfx 200t and let's go and make the intensity to 0.9 okay cool we already have a uh, really cool text made here already but let's add some more effects so let's go back to this 720x480 composition and let's double press on the normal composition and here let's press ctrl to y and here we'll actually need to add an effect from one of the tutorials i did not too long ago it's called opium blood i will most likely have the tutorial linked in the description but i'm gonna show you what you actually have to change here as well so let's drag and drop the opium blood preset and this is the text you will have as flicker settings look like this i only changed the amplitude as shape back damage looks like this change this and this as pixel sort uh, sort angle 90 threshold 0 0.9 a signal luma modulation uh, tape are turned off and this one signal is strength is changed to 199 uh, black and white here are the settings and also as gamma to make it red and the last effect is levels made like that and now let's for a second go back to the main comp if you like that text then it's awesome and you can keep it like this but for some reason i think this looks so much cooler if you go here and just render this out so wait let me just play it okay so now let's go to composition go to add to render queue here let's go to output module and make the format to quicktime and press ok and here just render out uh, call it whatever you want i'm gonna call it a uh, gothic textorial I don't know 
and press save and go to render and just render it out. Now go back to the normal composition and let's add the gothic text tutorial part or uh, of course whatever you call it. And, and now let's actually go to the main comp and you can see these little colors start to come out as you can see it here and now if I turn it back to this one look how it was before. I think that's a big difference actually so I really recommend to render this out. I don't know why it does that I'm pretty sure it's because of the format QuickTime but this looks so much cooler and hopefully you guys like this as much as I like it. And you guys can also save this as a preset, although it's not that easy to save this as a preset. So if you wanted to save this as a preset, you would have to save this as a preset and then also save this as a preset. And you would do that by going to animation and pressing save animation preset, calling it whatever you want, pressing save, and then you will be able to go to effects and presets and type whatever you named it and add it. And I also have some other easier options for some really cool gothic, uh, I guess, opium effects. And they're actually by using my opium presets pack. Uh, if you guys don't already know, the Opium Presets pack is a Ken Carson type of effect pack that includes texts, glitches, and effects. And here I'll show you what you can do with the effects. So you can turn this off for now, and we can turn this off and go to the Gothic. And here we can go to effects and presets like Opium. And here we have the Opium Presets folder, over 50 presets. Choose whichever Opium preset you want. For example, if you chose like Opium text and just edit it here, you would instantly have this, but then we would have to go to the effects here and turn off the transform because it's I made it so you wouldn't need to scale it for yourself and you would have this super cool text effect but this is not what we will do actually what we will do is uh, delete this effect and take this gothic press ctrl c go back to the main composition press ctrl v so I'm just gonna basically create a new text because I just want to show it on a new text and all you need to do is go to pre-compose here you can call it like again 720 x 480 second press ok and here let's go to composition composition settings and go to width make it to 720 the height to 480 press ok and here let's go back and actually scale this down like this and let's go fix up the graph a bit okay this is a pretty cool graph and now we can add opium text 720 x 480 and again I go to effects and turn off to transform and i also actually like to turn off the mosaic right here and this is the effect you will get absolutely love this effect i know a lot of you guys loved it as well but one thing you can do is go back to the main composition and of course scale it back up to 260 which you can also add other opium effects on top of here so for example you can press ctrl y and here one of my favorite effects to add is opium 8 and this is an effect i showed in the intro of the video as well this is a super gothic slash opium text and you can also go back to this text effect and let's see how it will look here so this will look a bit more basic but uh, but because that doesn't have the opium and this one has the opium and here we can actually steal these so we can press ctrl a press ctrl c and come back here press ctrl v and we will steal the frame rate of 14 fps and also the grain and as flicker and this will make for a super cool effect we have more opium text effects in the pack so you guys can mess around with them and we have so many of these crazy opium effects that i just cannot recommend enough and if you guys want to cop the Opium Presets Pack, I actually have a $5 discount code, which is called Pobicas. Use it to save $5 off on the Opium Presets Pack. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. If you guys have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.